Keith, you ready to go to the mat over your snowfall forecast for tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know who I'm Can fighting. Can we pin you down? <laughs> I don't know who I'm fighting. It's a mother nature. Yeah, these troughs, like, it, they're universally hated within the weenie community. Like, Gutner texted me today, and he's like, I hate these troughs. Yeah. And I was like, I, I could know. tell from uh, what he said this yeah. morning. Yeah, so we'll do our best, and I think people kind of, kind of understand how this works. Maybe. Cut them some slack. That's what we say until we get our inbox tomorrow. All right, visible satellite is clean today. Nice sunny day. Our next storm system is not looking like much right now. It's just a little shower activity north of Jacksonville and an upper level trough towards Cincinnati. Those two will come together though out over the ocean here and turn it into a pretty decent storm system, which I was jazzed up about last week, but we realized over the weekend the models kept pushing it east and east and it's just too far to see. So what we get with this system tomorrow is the northwest extent of it, as far away from the storm as you can be, really, and still get some of the precipitation out of it. But what makes this interesting is we've got that inverted or northern trough coming off this storm. And so that will be an area of locally enhanced lift in the atmosphere, but more specifically, heavier snow. These northern troughs are really notorious for dropping you know, five, 10, up to a foot of, of snow, it's happened. And then five miles away, there, there's nothing. And so that's what the Northern Trough is about. It'll set up tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, first over Southern Maine, York County and Cumberland County, and then rotate into down East Maine. And it may linger over down East Maine for a while tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. And the extent of this trough and the intensity of this trough is the key to the whole forecast. And they are unfortunately notoriously just a pain in the butt to forecast. And so that's what we're kind of up against. So when you look at this, the first part of tomorrow is no problem. Morning commute, we start to develop snow late morning through the middle of the day. A couple of heavy bands or moderate bands at least are possible here over southern Maine through the middle of the day. Away from the coastline, this is just off and on periods of light snow. I don't think it's a big deal at all. Through tomorrow afternoon, through tomorrow night, here's that trough setting up over down east Maine. Tomorrow evening, locally enhanced snowfall from Eastport over to maybe as far as Augusta, but I drew it more like this in through Bangor. The snow continues through the middle of the night into early, early on Thursday, and then it clears out. So what you have here is an attempt to pinpoint those two New Orleans trough spots there and there. And I had one of my friends comment that I uh, cheaped out and copped out and put the line right through Portland so I could be right either way. And I responded, it's not my first rodeo, okay? But I do think Portland could get in on that New Orleans trough. So I would include them in that two to four. Either way, guys, it's irrelevant. It's gonna be about 60 degrees in the middle of the night this Saturday. So whatever <laughs> we have, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's gonna be mild. Over the weekend, unfortunately, it does come with rain, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Next week looks mild. I mean, you know, it's hard for all the days to be warm, but we're going to be trying to be around 50 through much of next week, which is very unusual. Honestly. It doesn't happen a lot <laughs> in December. No. Crazy. No. Thanks, Keith. All right. Thank you.